Looking for a modern and updated three bedroom duplex in St. Paul, featuring vaulted ceilings, beautiful kitchen, great outdoor spaces, and so much more? Well, we got you covered. Roll that intro. Hey, this is Michael Getty with Mozzie Properties, and today I'm bringing you a video walkthrough tour of 1748 Sheridan Avenue West here in St. Paul. This is of the main level duplex behind me. We're gonna go and check it out. Be sure if you enjoy the video, hit that like button and check out the description below where I post things like rent price, availability date, and links to that itself. If you enjoyed the video tour, but the house wasn't quite what you're looking for, be sure to subscribe to the channel as I post hundreds of other rentals throughout the year. Now without further ado, let's get this show on the road. So, here is the property. Got a lot of privacy behind all these bushes out front. We're gonna be looking at the main level here. We're over in St. Paul, close by to the airport. A very convenient location. Got some nice single family properties in the area. A little side walkway that gets you out back. <laughs> a little rabbit. Got some nice mulching and landscaping out here. You can kind of see, essentially you have a little front yard behind all the privacy here. Um, we'll go on in and the nice thing is all these doors have electronic keypads on it So this is a secure building gets you into the front entry here This door takes up this door goes to the main so we'll walk on in also a keypad for here I just figured I'd save the steps For the video, but really nice if you like going on runs or walks Don't have to worry about bringing a key and you can see when we walk in here. It's got a really nice open concept large family room right here with a split level up pretty cool with the little rock accent walls out here as well you can see vaulted ceilings the platform out right here which works for a good spot to put a tv also if you love doing karaoke or anything and work well for that Natural light, big windows out front, patio door that walks to the deck right off back. I'll show this here. So we got a two tiered deck system. Lower part and railing was just redone here, too. This is a shared uh, deck. We got a two car garage right out back there, too. We'll show a little more of that at the tail end of the tour. I do have room dimensions available online for anybody who's interested too. And the ceiling fan. You can see this walks down over here into the nice dining room. Beautiful floors, nice upgraded light fixtures. It's got a really nice kitchen too. We'll go check that out in a second. A lot of good sight lines in this home. Here's your kitchen. A dishwasher. Nice large sink. Backsplash. Light blue cabinets. Newer hardwares. Overhead range hood. Nice display cabinet. Granite counters. And then behind me, big old fridge, more prep and cabinetry, as well as more here. So lots of storage space in this kitchen. Nice big overhead lights too. If you don't like the daylight light, you can switch to you know, a more tinted one. We got some of those windows that has the ability to do that. Or excuse me, the flat, the lights. <laughs> All right, now we got a bedroom right off the front. Cool thing about this one is you look up, you do have skylights and a nice vaulted ceiling. I think optimally this room works really well as an office. It still works as a bedroom too. It's just kind of cool. These front French doors, glass French doors, the vaulted ceiling, big window looking off to the front. Let's see. A good size closet back in there too. 
But yeah, as a front office, this is pretty awesome. Um, obviously, we came in from the entryway there. It's got some built-in shelving. You have a little closet right off of the kitchen, so you could use that as a pantry if you wanted to as well. And then towards the back, we have a bedroom. We'll go in there first, and then a bathroom. Nice vaulted ceilings, overhead ceiling fan, as you can see. And this one is a little bigger than the first bedroom we looked at. See, so we have carpet. It's also a little more secluded as it's towards the back of the home, right near the bathroom. Right outside of it, we have ourselves a little linen closet. And then we have our bathroom right over here. So we've got a toilet, sink vanity. Kind of cool with these brass railings here too, as you'll see. Adds a little more charm and almost designer appeal to it. Then we have our stand up shower. And back here we have our tub as well. Okay, let's go check out the downstairs. And this is actually a side, maybe we'll take this after we look downstairs. This goes straight out to that side walkway that we saw up front. So downstairs is finished. It's kind of cut up into a couple of rooms. So right when you come down, you do have this little entry area. Um, which probably just ends up becoming more of a landing spot than anything else. Maybe you want to put a comfy chair or something down here. And then you have another room over here that could work well as an office. Or maybe you want to go ahead and put you know, a TV here and a little couch back here. Behind here is just water heater. Over here is a little bit more storage. And then back over here, we have our lower third bedroom. This is the biggest of the rooms. And another thing that you could do if you wanted, so when you have, because you got your egress window right there, there's no closet down here. You can set up an armoire, or you could just use this right here as, you know, your walk-in closet as you go to the bedroom. So that's definitely an option as well. Kind of have the entire downstairs be its own master suite. Then over here, we have our in-unit washer and dryer, the sink basin, and then just some storage back around here. This leads back to where the water heater was. A Little bit of storage area back in here. So yeah, but really nice to have in-unit washer and dryer. Um, and then this finished lower level for However you choose to utilize that. We'll head out this side door here. So that leads right out to the front. And then walking out the back here. We have our back garage, just central AC, some nice hostas, a little squirrel. <laughs> and you can see there's that lower deck and it's just redone. Upper deck, walks directly in over there. And then we do have a two car garage right here as well. Two car garage, your stall, our rear unit comes with one of the two stalls here. Uh, and it's directly accessible right here from the street. So you don't have to deal with in alleys or anything like that. And we'll just peek in here real quick too, so you can see, but Here's your garage, it does have openers, a little bit of storage. It's getting a little dark in here because there's no lights on. <laughs> but yeah. All right, well that concludes the tour of this property. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye now. Thanks for watching our video tour. If you're interested in applying for the property, check out the video up here to see how to do our online rental application process.
If it wasn't quite what you were looking for, you can browse our other active listings over here as well to see what else we have on the market. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified with any new content. Thanks so much and have a great day.